uh, okay good morning students uh, good morning all of you uh, so today uh, we are uh, taking a uh, writing sex and you know that uh, there was a great assist uh, francis bacon uh, he said you know beautiful quote that reading makes a full man conference a ready man and writing an exact man so all these three skills reading speaking and writing conference here speaking only listening is not there so we are talking about writing and letter writing a uh, letter writing would continue with you for long time why i am saying so because this art of writing will help you when you are a student when you are working somewhere when you are doing some social work so you must know how to write a letter and letter writing is one of the questions that you have in your examination now you would ask me that uh, how to write letter what type of letters are there so i would be sharing a slide with you and i hope that uh, with that we will discuss that uh, how to go for letter writing and uh, it's a big chapter there are different type of letters but we are not going to discuss all of them we are going to discuss only one and that is letter to editor rest of the letters we would be discussing no problem but uh, we would have introductory session on letter writing and i hope you would enjoy so let me share my screen i hope my screen is with you you can see yes yes sir very good so that i was uh, uh, just uh, sharing with you reading make it a full man conference a ready man and writing an exact man great essayist francis bacon he used to write beautiful essays very short very concise but full of information full of knowledge full of uh, wit now as far as the art of letter writing is concerned see the po first point art of letter writing has lifelong importance why lifelong because i i told you that it will be helping us as a student when we grow up when we start doing work here and there and when we communicate with friends so either we like letter writing or not but we have to write at least at least we have to write formal letters suppose we are not writing informal letters we are not writing friendly letters family letters because nowadays we have got different type of social media we are used to them we are hooked to them but as far as the formal letter writing is concerned okay may may, may not be there that you are posting a letter you are just uh, uh, putting a letter inside an envelope but you would be writing mail letters you have to learn how to write formal letters okay because at some stage or other of life you will have to use this letter writing if we don't learn this art suppose somebody say okay i don't i don't need if we don't learn art of letter writing then what will happen you know we will depend on parents we will depend on friends we will depend on colleagues and dependence is bad if we depend on somebody else for our task then that is bad mahatma gandhi said that self reliant we have to become self reliant so we need to become independent we need to we need to become self reliant you might have seen that sometime your friends request you okay dear friend please draft a letter for me i want to uh, communicate to this office that office but i don't know how not only with you people it happens in offices it happens in school so what is the idea the idea is that one should become habitual of let writing one should have the mastery over this writing task now one may ask that why english you may ask the question that why english i am writing letter in hindi no problem 
I can write very good Punjabi, very good Tamil, etc. Fine, you are you are okay. Learn in as many languages as you can. But what is the advantage of English? Learning in English will make you understood and heard in Delhi, in Doha, in Denmark, or any other city all around. Suppose you are a good communicator. Suppose you are writing a letter in English. That letter would be understood. That letter would be heard. That letter would be comprehended everywhere, all around. Because English is now universally accepted language, understood everywhere, read everywhere. Yes, sir. That's why. That's why the focus is on the you know that cosmopolitan nature of this language, and that's why you are enjoying. Suppose you write in Hindi. Okay, maybe possible all over the country uh, we understand. But suppose the letter goes to Switzerland, suppose the letter goes to US, so they will have the problem. Your network spreads, you know, when you write in English, your network spreads. Like WhatsApp today you have and YouTube and why these are spreading? Because they have got universal acceptance. Everybody wants to use these services. So similarly, your writing in English will be accepted universally. And you develop when you are accepted, when your network spreads, then what happens? You develop a type of self-belief, self-confidence. And this self-belief, this self-confidence, it provides you energy, extra energy. Energy does not mean only to do manual work. You require bodily energy, you require mental energy, you require that emotional energy. So you, you, you start enjoying this all. So that's why the letter writing is very, very important for you. And I hope you take interest in that. Types of formal letters. We're talking about the formal letters because in the examination, you will get the formal letters. So if we broadly uh, divide them as far as because, you know, the ease is developing and different type of things are taking place, there might be some more letters in coming days. But as on today, we have broadly four or five types of letter. Letter to editor, complaint letter, business letter, inquiry letter and job application. Now, see one thing, I'm not talking about the format. Your teacher will tell you all about this and you know already because you have done it in class 11th also. But what is the important thing in this? Each of these letters, okay? Each of these letters has a purpose, has an intent. And therefore, writing them requires different texts tone and technique. Please pay attention to my statement that these five types of letter which you have, each of them requires a different strategy, a different type of text, a different type of tone, a different type of technique. That's why you have to write them individually. You have to practice them individually. All these are letters. Next thing is one thing which is common, okay? On one side, I'm saying that uh, we require different strategy. We require, we, we require different texts. On other side, I'm saying that one thing is common there. And what is common? That you should have curiosity for observation. You should have desire for communication. And you should have passion for expression. These three things are very important. I repeat, curiosity for observation. You must be a good observer observer of things here and there. You should have a desire to communicate whatever you want to communicate to me, to your teacher, to your parent, to your uh, deputy CM, to your CM. You should have that desire for communication. And the last, you should have passion for expression that whatever is there inside you, in your mind, in your sight, you must be able to communicate that. You must be able to express them. Now, once you have all these three, this observation, communication, and expression, once you acquire these three, you feel very comfortable. You feel very commanding. Your, your status becomes comfortable and commanding like eagle. You might have seen the eagle just soaring high, light, energetic. So you feel that type of feeling once you have all these three traits with you. Let's move to the letter to editor. 
Now, this letter is a very common letter. Why, why this letter is common letter? The reason is that newspaper has, you know, broad circulation. And normally all type of stories, either it is political or it is sports or it is social issues or it is something inventions, some research studies, some social news. These newspapers are, you know, very strong medium of communication. So large circulation, uh, huge readership is there. So letter to editor is one of the prominent letters which you have to learn how to write that. Now, why I'm taking this one today? Because I want you people, because through this letter, you can communicate your feeling. You can take part in different type of activities. You can become a very strong member of the society. It is written to the editor of a newspaper, any newspaper, maybe Times of India, maybe Hindustan Times, maybe Dainik Jagar. Okay. When you feel strongly about an issue, problem or situation, when you will write letter to editor, suppose you have very strong opinion, strong views about any situation, about any problem, about any issue. Now you will ask me what are these issues? These are the general issues, okay, which are impacting general public, general masses, you, me and others. And these issues, these uh, problems need to be addressed. They need to be addressed and resolved immediately. Immediate attention from the concerned authorities, from the administration, from the district administration, from the area authority. So that's why we write, because that is something which is important for all of us. And that's why we want that to be communicated to the concerned authority. That's why we write a letter. Now you'll ask me what type of issues, for example, these days. Suppose, uh, you know, uh, COVID-19 and lockdown is there. And if people are not getting food, they are not getting ration. So you can share your opinion. Suppose uh, some people are uh, not getting medical facilities. Uh, they, they require immediate attention. They require immediate uh, prescription. They require medicine. So suppose this type of, uh, you know, thing is there, then you feel very strongly about that. And when you write letter to editor, then that letter draws the attention of the authority and uh, definitely your uh, that concern is taken care of now you can ask me a question that how do i know that uh, such uh, how, how how do i know such issues and such uh, problems and such a uh, matter you you may ask this genuine question okay here is here is the point your question is very good why you have to be an observer now, there is no textbook. You don't have any textbook that you will read that textbook and uh, uh, read the content and uh, write and draft a letter. No. You have to be an observer. You have to be a keen observer. Observer of what? Observer of general things. General things which are occurring around, which are taking place here and there, which are happening on daily basis. Either it is a public park or it is the you know a highway or uh, it is some hospital, or it is some school. The things which are taking place, you have to be a, a very keen observer of all these things because you must have the information. Otherwise, you cannot write letter. You cannot say, uh, share your opinion. You must take interest in them, not only observing. You have to take interest in them. You should study them. You should go to a DNA part of that particular problem, that why this problem is there which are the factors who are responsible for that, what is the basic nature of that, what are the factors which are causing that, and how that can be resolved, not only that factors and reasons. You have to also find out that how that can be resolved. Now you can ask me a question that uh, you don't know how to resolve. Okay, you, you notice that how the administration is taking care of that. For example, it is a uh, traffic problem is there. Okay, traffic chaos is there. So you see that traffic police is there, you see traffic light is there, you see that uh, some people are there who are uh, uh, taking care of uh, road rules. So you must know the basic nature of that problem. You must know that what are the factors which are leading to that problem. You must know that what type of problems are there, what type of problem the general public is facing because of these, and you must know how to tackle these issues. These three, four things are very important if you are writing a letter to editor. You will enjoy writing letter to editor if you know all these things. Then 
you are representing people one thing is there that when you are writing letter to editor you are representing people you are representing a group of people some uh, people there you are not uh, writing as an individual so you should not have the you know letters should not have access tone of individual nature you should avoid individual touch there because you are writing on the part of people you are sharing general uh, and uh, public issue and concern over that so your text should have that tone that that should not have the excess you know dose of individual touch next thing there should be concise introduction when you are beginning the letter your introduction should be very concise that who are you where you are residing and what is your purpose that is the introduction okay you cannot give four five six sentences uh, for introduction because you have the limited space for writing letter so briefly you have to uh, introduce yourself to the editor and you have to tell him or her that what is the problem you are going to share okay and then after that you must dissect the problem that what is the situation what is the problem what are the complexities related to that problem how that problem is causing a uh, problem for people difficulties for people how people are suffering and what are the factors what are the reasons behind that which things are there which are causing that okay you know every problem has some factors there is no problem if there are no factors so factors which are leading to that problem and finally that how to tackle that what is the effective technique to resolve that to stop that to resolve that problem so you have to have all these things now you'll ask me that how you you are going to have this thing. this thing will happen when you take a keen interest in these things and that's why i request you that whenever there is something happening around you don't just keep your eyes closed don't keep your uh, you know uh, that uh, mind shut up try to observe something okay make notes of your uh, own note down certain things note down some data because that will help you in writing a very good letter to editor and final thing that when you have written your letter i'm not talking about the format etc because this you already know when you are concluding your letter for example the last this is very very important we have seen the students that uh, uh, they uh, fumble when they are concluding why they fumble because they they come either in commanding mood or they do not conclude that in the tone which is you know the key for let's write it in so conclusion should be very positive very pragmatic practical it it cannot be utopian it cannot be something a uh, too ideal okay it has to be very uh, positive very uh, conclusive the reason is that you should end your letter with a positive note for example corona is these days and you are writing about the social distancing you are just uh, in some areas you notice that people are uh, not uh, uh, just regarding and respecting social distancing and you are writing you are sharing the you know concern with the letter and the editor of times of india so you you cannot say okay nothing will happen and uh, these people uh, won't uh, just uh, mind and they are going to continue uh, with their habit and uh, i don't know that uh, god may be the you know only uh, god may uh, think about them and uh, it is really uh, the condition of uh, helplessness no you cannot go like this you have to resolve okay uh, the doctors are doing their best uh, medicals are doing their best hospital staff policemen government officers so some ngos social organization so they 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 should come and they should try to convince these people that uh, social distancing is only and only solution Uh, as far as the present scenario is concerned so we have to conclude the letter with positive note and all the stakeholders who whoever are uh, you know responsible for that for example the students the teachers and uh, the parents suppose it is the matter of education then all these three uh, you know are important stakeholders so you have to make the note of all these stakeholders they should come together they should have positive approach they should help the authority they should abide by the rules and the problem would be resolved there is no problem which cannot be resolved corona is also going to be removed from the planet so every problem has solution every problem has resolution 
so you should end your letter you should conclude your letter with very positive note so i hope that you you got uh, you know a brief uh, touch of this thing that uh, how we are going to conclude the letter writing and uh, what now uh, important thing i am just uh, uh, sharing with you that uh, practice is very important practice will make you perfect because if you keep on writing letters okay you are not sending to editor sometime you may send to editor no problem there is no harm you send letter to editor your letters will be published but one thing students do that sometimes they make direct request to editor please uh, take this action please do this thing that thing no you are not going to make direct request because editor is uh, not uh, you know uh, directly he or she is not responsible for that to control that to resolve that so you are just making indirect request to the authority to the you know administration so that they start paying attention they resolve the issue and the public which is suffering that may get some you know respite from that particular problem so i hope that uh, you got uh, something out of this and uh, for more queries you can just uh, uh, talk to me you can write to me and uh, uh, you have this number with you and in case uh, there is uh, you know any suggestion and uh, uh, any query then uh, please uh, feel free uh, to talk to me or uh, to communicate uh, to me that would be also a letter if you write a letter to uh, me on this mail so that would be also a letter writing okay so uh, i say thank you goodbye to you and uh, thank you i hope uh, you just uh, got something and at least uh, a touch of uh, letter writing that how we should go for Uh, letter writing and especially the letter to editor thank you thank you